Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly, and I've got a good one for you today because I'm going to cover some of the national business news, how wonderful our economy is doing, and I'm going to do it all from Balboa Island today. So please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this with all your friends and colleagues. And uh, please don't forget, we've got an email list. Don't forget to join our email list if you'd like to get a hold of me and have me uh, consult with your business more. We've got a Patreon group. Uh, sign up for that as well, but let's get into it, okay? As I walk onto the island, we just got notice that uh, Biden's new uh, budget has been announced, and it's got the biggest surprise of them all, and that is the capital gains tax that he wants to increase will now go retroactive to April 2021. Now, you can say, ah, oh, big deal. No, what that does is it makes it so people that want to sell their homes now quickly, not going to be able to do it. People that have assets that can sell them to get out of it won't be able to do it. They're going to have to pay this increased tax rate. It's, it's going to cause major turmoil, major problems with real estate and other assets like that. Okay, share your thoughts, guys, because uh, this is huge and... Uh, Nobody's immune to it. You may think, oh, I don't have any problems, but if the person you work for loses their business and you don't have a job, that affects you. Don't ever forget that. So you want things to thrive. You want restaurants to be open. You want people to buy new businesses. You want people to innovate and make new things. If they don't do that, we are this depression that we're in, which I believe we are in, is going to only get worse. Mark my words, share your thoughts below as I walk onto this beautiful island, okay, it's pretty cool. I'll show you guys all about it. So this is the main drag of Balbo Island, man-made island that was made in the late 1800s. It's very quaint. It's got one, basically one main street on it. And the rest is surrounded by some of the best real estate in all of Newport Beach. This also leads to the infamous ferry that you can go to. And uh, very cool place, you know? A lot of cool shopping, a lot of cool restaurants. But you know what's funny is I, I was even blown away. Even down here, you've got vacancies, which I was blown away by. I mean, look at this corner spot, guys. This is clothing store, dress shop, whatever. You got that. Got the elbow of candy. And then, so, by the way, this is a great Chinese restaurant that's been here forever. The family's owned it forever. But look at this, this uh, got another vacancy right there. So it happens everywhere, guys. It's uh, economy is uh, all around us, if you know what I mean. Island home for lease. This storefront. Now here's a story that just won't go away. And that is the shipping and the container ships off the coast of California. You can think, oh, it doesn't affect me. It affects all of us. Uh, because they're having a major problem because there used to be 20 cargo ships deep now they estimate that they're 30 cargo ships deep and there's so many people, so many cargo ships backed up that they're actually sending these cargo ships to go to Oakland. Now, think about this. Some of these uh, companies that have products that they've been waiting for would rather pay the shipping from Oakland to Los Angeles or wherever than uh, wait. So they're already paying a ton for the shipping, ton for the freight and it's an absolute product. The problem is none of this stuff uh, that we're buying from China right now is being, you know, we're not selling them anything. And that's the problem with this country right now is that we've got nothing that we're making that's going back on those container ships. And we're seeing time and again that all these products that people are buying and sending to Walmart and the cheap stores, uh, you know, we're not making anything. And we've got to do more of that. Speaking of Oakland, I read a great story. City of Oakland's in real trouble right now. 
they lost the Oakland Raiders. They moved to uh, Las Vegas last year. And now the uh, Oakland A's, the Oakland, Oakland Athletics in Major League Baseball, wanted to have a stadium built. The city said no. So Oakland's going to leave. They will leave. They will go to Portland. They will go to all these other cities that uh, will gladly build them a stadium. But uh, you're going to see that city decimated because they've already lost one sports franchise and they're about to lose another. There's a story out of the stock market and cryptos. Uh, first things first, uh, cryptos have gotten absurd. Uh, you had another uh, over 10% drop in Bitcoin last night, but don't worry, it's a buying opportunity. There's nothing to worry about. There's no explanation to it, by the way. And now this is where it gets absurd. And that is the Tiger King himself, Joe Exotic, is going to create his own coin. So you guys can go out and, uh, you know, invest in the uh, Joe Exotic coin for the Tiger King. It's stupid, guys. Think about this. It's not a currency. It's not real money. It's not anything it's an absolute joke and uh again you know people don't see it that way this is you know dan it's blockchain chain technology decentralized blah 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 this moron has his own coin okay in prison it's designed to help with his legal defense okay buy it away buy it away tell me about it okay anyways the next thing is the amc stock amc um has been fluctuating up and down because of the short squeeze that they've been affected by uh, in the marketplace. Okay, fantastic, congratulations. But it's also shot up, shot down. If you don't think people are day trading this around you, you know, I, I've seen sites and had news stories sent to me that Dan, uh, AMC is going to go to 10,000 a share. You guys are sniffing glue if you think it's going to go that high. The stock's up, the stock's down. It's, it's, absolutely preposterous that everybody's trading this as if it's going to be a $10,000 stock. Movie theaters are dead. As we enter June and go through the Memorial Day holiday, there are no movies, guys. Okay? This used to be a $500 million weekend in the movie theaters. Not anymore. It's done. It's finished. But AMC is going to survive this, and they're going to be a $10,000 stock. Get with the program, guys. Come on. Wake up. The feds just approved a jump in the tax credit for green uh, cars, electric vehicles. Uh, the tax credit went from 7500 to $12,000, but there's a catch, and the catch is this. You have to have a car that the majority of it was assembled here in the United States. You can get a $7,500 tax credit regardless of what you do. If it was assembled here in the United States, you get an additional 2,500, and then the um, the plant, if they are unionized, they get an additional 2,500 dollars also. So, how do you guys feel about these green cars, Tesla, and all these other cars? Everybody's making them right now. Um, they, you know, I just saw a great study that it takes seven years to pay off the average uh, electric vehicle compared to gasoline. So, again. Who owns a car for seven years? Most people don't. About 90% of the people don't own a car seven years. So share your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this. And uh, I know the Tesla lovers are gonna be out there and uh, clamoring for this, but I think it's, I think it's a joke myself. Um, share your thoughts. One thing that's kind of floored me about the island today is the vacancies. Since I was a kid coming down here, we haven't seen more than, there'd be like one location available once a year, maybe twice a year. But uh, there's over a dozen places available for rent here on the island to, you know. And again, you know, I'm sure they just experienced major problems with COVID, but I'm gonna run through them real quick for you guys. Well, you don't see this very often, but this was a Starbucks. And this was the Starbucks on the island that uh, everybody would go to and it was, a decent location 
but uh, even Starbucks is facing problems with the pandemic. So again, guys, kind of shocking. I mean, I've never seen this many vacancies on the island ever. massive and then when you go across the street you guys I've been coming here since I was a kid I have never seen more than one location vacant ever now here's something that affects every single one of us and that is a key index the core personal consumption index uh, rose three and a half percent in April which Personally, if you guys don't see prices out there skyrocketing right now, uh, I see them in everything. I see them at restaurants. I see them at the gas pump. I see them at the grocery store. I see it at the hardware store, supplies, absolutely everything. And, uh, you know, to give you an idea, I spoke with somebody that uh, we've produced events with in the past. And we're talking about having an August event. And they said, Dan, I, unfortunately, we can't quote you a price right now because we don't know how this is gonna be uh, with all the inflationary problems and what their expenses are gonna be. So you're gonna see this. This is a real problem, guys. You're gonna see more and more things that you can't price out on a regular basis because of inflation. So take a look at it, but uh, share your thoughts, man. I, I, I think that this is, catastrophic right now it's more than three percent it's ridiculous that they share these low numbers with us like it's it's gospel and i think that uh inflation is at 10 or 12 percent right now again share your thoughts guys get up here Here's a story out of Washington, D.C., and that is the U.S. Mint is saying that they cannot ship tangible silver right now for the silver coins and for the bars that they normally sell. I'm not going to ship it right now. There's such a demand for silver, and they are so backlogged with this demand that they will not ship the shipments that they have. Uh, you've heard us talk about silver before. I've talked about it. Jeremiah Babes talked about it. You have to have silver as a tangible investment to hold it in your hands. It's very inexpensive, it's very cheap. But if things continue, okay, at the pace that they are right now, the demand for silver will go up 54% over the course of the next year. It's not enough of it, okay? And the mint shutting down deliveries is just a sign of the times, guys. This is, you you know, you want a GameStop, you want a uh, a, a rare investment or a Bitcoin shenanigans thing to invest in, put your money in silver, stick it in a drawer because they're going to make this product, these products with it. And there's nothing that's going to stop that. There's such a demand for it. They demand that there's over 54 million ounces of silver that's demanded right now on regular consumption basis that they don't have. So the price is being affected and being shut down by some of the major banks, JP Morgan and people like that, but the price cannot be kept down forever. So take a look at it, share your thoughts. Imagine you've got so much money, you put a dinosaur in your front yard. Here's a story from the Wall Street Journal, and that is WeWork. Have you guys heard of WeWork? WeWork is a shared office space that I hate it, okay? They invited me over, come check this place out. I hate work environments where everybody's hanging out, playing ping pong and sitting on beanbag chairs. Anyways, Adam Newman, the former CEO of the company, was just given a sweetheart deal where his divorce from the company, when they realized that he was an idiot, they um, gave him another $245 million as an exit package. So let's add all this up. This guy basically, um, had a shared workspace like Regis, okay? He tried to say it was a technology company. They didn't even own some of these spaces. They just rented space and then re-rented it to you and had the Kumbaya uh, experience, which was insane. And again, I hated it because the idea of working is to do that work. It's not a party and to play. So we'd have mixers at places like this and it just, I hated it, couldn't, couldn't stand it. 
So this moron, uh, he got $245 million. He got another 200 million in cash and they refinanced a bunch of debts for him. But again, the company was never worth what this guy said it was worth. And uh, the shareholders were caught holding the bag for this. So again, share your thoughts on what you guys think of this. I, I think it's ridiculous. I'm looking for the bankruptcy festival for WeWork any day now, okay? So. My final story is this one out of the Wall Street Journal, and that is there's a town for sale. And two things that if I could own one day would be, number one would be the Los Angeles Angels, and uh, we'd get Mike Trout some pitching, and number two would be to own my own town or city. This place in, uh, just right outside the Mojave Desert off the 15 freeway, it's called Nipton. And if you've driven to Vegas from Los Angeles, Orange County, you've driven past the sign Nipton's off this road. Well, they're selling the town for $2.75 uh, $2 million right now. Man, I'm telling you, I would, you'd have a hotel, you've got the general store. I mean, I would, it'd be a party festival. They were gonna originally set this place up as an Instagram city and it fell apart. They sold it to a company called American Green for $5 million. The Lang family sold it to them. The Lang family had to um, foreclose on this because this cannabis company was going to come out there and like most cannabis companies, they have all these high flying dreams and did nothing with the uh, city. So again, they had to foreclose on it. The town's for sale again. Man, I would have my own town. I'd make Jeremiah Babe sheriff. It'd be, it'd be insane, okay? And we'd add a few fun things to it. Please share your thoughts and uh, Sheriff Babe would be in charge of Nipton. Probably renamed the town too, Dan Town. Anyways, share your thoughts. Uh, please don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button, share it with all your friends and colleagues, and uh, I will see you guys very soon.